Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to see, like we'll explore some features of uh, Excel. So here are the some features that we are going to see today. So let's start. So first is a sheet rename. So as you can see that here we have a sheet one. By pressing the plus sign, you can add uh, more sheets, right? So here you can change the name like suppose you are maintaining your monthly expenses so here you can give the you can rename the sheet name like just right click and click on rename so let's say january then uh, any any name you can give depending on the uh, sheet what work your sheet contains right february March like this so you can change the name so after changing the name or rename the sheet you can also change the color of the name like right click and uh, you can see that here we have a tab color let's say I want to give red here I want to give the tab color let's say green I want to give tab color let's say blue so depending on the requirement and the work you can change the name as well as the color right so after this two feature next is a cell color uh, so when you are working with the excel sheet it might be possible that certain things or a certain value certain cell you want to highlight so you can simply select the cell and here you have the fill color option so you can fill any color and you can highlight that particular cell right any cell you can select the cell and you can highlight it so this is how you can give the color to the cell now interesting one auto numbering what is auto numbering so see I'm entering 1, 2 and 3 but suppose I want to enter 100 numbers right so I cannot type 100 numbers so Excel give the feature just select all the three values and see here you have small point right just drag and drop it it will automatically fill the data and this can go up to any number like 65 right so you can fill the <coughs> numbers this we call the auto numbering right this we call the auto numbering the another thing is let's say I have 50 over here and I want to write 5 sorry 500 and I want to write 50 in all the cells so of course you can do the copy paste thing right but also you can do this way write the value and drag it so here you need to understand one thing that to for the auto numbering thing this type of consecutive numbers or continuous numbers you need to select three cells while in this case you can select the one cell and you can drag and drop like uh, see suppose I'm entering 11 12 and 13 right and uh, I want 14 15 16 yes we got but suppose I write 11, 12 and 13 and if I will drag the first cell, it will overwrite the value. So this is the difference between that uh, why sometimes you need to select three cells and then drag and sometimes you need sele to select one cell and dra drag. Right? So this is about the auto numbering. So we have seen all this. Let's... Uh, change the color okay now we have a format cell it's very interesting guys so let's say that uh, in this cell let's say i want to add enter the date and uh, it's a 5 12 2020 right so this is the format but some other type of formatting suppose you need so select the cell right click on it and go to the format cell option format cell option here you have different 
date style like i want this type of date this type of date this type of date let's say this type of date right where you want a day then uh, date month and year so for that this we need to increase the width of the cell so this way you can actually in uh, format cells option you have so many options like category in categories like general number currency when you can explore more depending on the requirement right so this is about the number tag some more things also you can do with the cell formatting like let's take this cell and i want to type something let's say uh, uh, let's say i'm just typing simple text hello everyone how are you right this is my text but if you notice that i have entered the text in f7 cell and it is showing me here as well actually it is not in the g8 g7 but because of the cell size because of the cell size it is showing or it is uh, <coughs> covering the two cells so what you can do click <coughs> and so go to the format cell and go to the alignment option in alignment here you have a wrap text option you can click on wrap text click ok see it will automatically change the size of your cell so this is the wrap text right now let's say uh, i want this date in both the cells or it's a, uh, like a grade or a kind of thing depending on the feature again I, i'll see the one only this thing that depending on the requirement you can use all these features so let's say i want to merge these two cells let's say these two cells i have written something over here but i want to write in i want to make it one cell so select all one two three any number of cells right click format cells merge cells and okay see now it has become one so like here you can write like a b c d and all have same marks like 30 this way right but uh, even if you want to change the uh, position of the text so here you have different alignment option this looks better right so this way you can here you have different uh, formatting styles you can apply any like bold italic also you can change the color this all this you know right so format cell is actually very interesting uh, feature here you have font border field protection so many uh, different tabs and many features are there like particularly for one cell you can give the border you can fill it different alignment option like horizontal vertical text many many options text direction is also there right so you can use this or you can explore these features more so after this let's see okay let me just delete all the columns okay <coughs> so after format cell we have sorting right sorting so let's say i have entered the data like marks let's say marks column is there any any numbers right and i want to do the sorting so simply select the number select the values or select the whole column whatever you want to do and then go to the sort and filter option here you have a sort and filter option so which type of sorting you want ascending or the descending any sorting you can do see right and also you can go for the descending so this is the sorting option one interesting thing see just uh, remember I'm, I'm just giving the name a b c d g h i 
right let's assume that these are the name of the students and these are the marks so when i'll change the order of this uh, numbers or order of this uh, marks i need to apply this thing also on the this column as well right means you want to expand your sorting process so what you can do select this go to this and sort uh, will do the ascending it will ask you to expand the selection means it is asking that do you want to apply this thing on rest of the other uh, columns right you want to want to expand it if yes then sort now see just remember that uh, right so sorted right yes so then a g d b let us change and it has applied it to the all the data so this is about the sorting things right also you can apply the sorting on um <coughs> alphabets so okay and it will change it right so this is uh, how you can uh, do the sorting okay so this is done now let me give the same marks 10 10 and uh, 34 we have two times 10 66 okay now see here we have some repeated values and i want to do the filtering means i want only 10 uh, the, the i want to i want name of the students with 10 marks only so just go select that cell go to the sort and filter and see here you have a filter option click on that and you will see that here you have this filters on which you want to apply the filter so like uh, i want only 10 10 data with the uh, cells or a row with the 10 values see 10 now let's say 34 so we have data 34 okay one one more thing whenever you apply the filter just make sure that your first row should be the title right because here we have 10 so you cannot see that 10 over here right so always make sure that uh, your first row should be the title right so now you can easily apply the filter so you can apply filter on any on any column it's easy actually so this is about the filter now auto text what is auto text so let's say i'm entering a b and c it is similar to the numbers like after a b c i want a b c d e f g like that but no it will print the this three so what you can do go for the d e now let's see how does it work no it will not work means you need it will not so it means alphabets does not work then what what works so okay let me write january february march and i want see january february march april may june july august like that right and uh, same way sunday monday tuesday and uh, simply drag and drop it so it will print this uh, day names right so this is about the auto text thing auto text thing so this is auto text and in this we have seen that how to repeat the rows how to repeat it right okay so after that uh, this auto text we have control d what is control d it is for the duplicate thing like uh, here i have written hello and i want the same data in the next so i don't need to do the copy paste thing simply select the below row uh, below cell and press control d control d control d whenever suppose here i want 56 
i so simply you can print 